It's and the one got... the barrel technician, as they used to call him. Right. But on the other hand, we have Muse, the Oklahoma player. Toon Link, really, really solid with his projectiles and really, really cerebral, cerebral player. Yes. Very good at setting up traps and taking advantage of opponent's habits based on uh, the way he's tossing those projectiles. And he's really good at limiting the movement of his opponent with them. Yeah, my guess is that uh, this game is going to come down to how well MVD can uh, apply his change-up game. Because we've seen it before, MVD can take on playstyles of multiple ditties. But it's a matter of which ones are going to work against Muse and when's the right time to switch it up on him. Wow. After two pummels at this high percent, Muse was able to mash out, always fighting. He may be a, a, a brainiac sort of a player, but that does not mean that he is not a fighter. Oh, yeah. Wow, catches the jump away. Not a true combo, but still able to follow up. And because he caught the jump, he was not able to recover in that situation. No. That's a quick stock for MVD, who's now looking to turn on the Jets even brighter. Wow, and again, that Nair converted added so much more to that combo. Now he's just sitting at 83. Look at how quickly this steamroll. Yeah, we are at one minute in, and Muse is sitting at death percent at and does almost indeed Who die. Who else does that? Like you said, MVD will wild out sometimes. Dash attack, maybe a misinput from MVD. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a who does that, but with more of a yuck tone. Right. Okay, up tilt is a great option to cover behind you. Not quite as big as his uh. His father, Donkey Kong, but it is still good to get that little bit of range behind you. There we go. Nice perfect shield on the banana, but MVD has it right back in play. Catching the banana. Ooh, and it's a trap. Hey, but Muse will make it back with banana in hand, but wow. MVD just does not care about that banana. He Tried smacks him right back. Banana down air, but MVD realized there's no downward hitbox from Toon Link that's particularly fast. Out of the air. After he tosses the banana down, he has no guaranteed follow-up. So I'll fight him back with my up air. If he's coming down, he's going to barrel right in to my hitbox. Mm -hmm. Nice recognition, understanding of the situation. When to fight and when to run away. Yeah. So a quick game one sees us on battlefield for game two. This is Muse's counter pick, and this is about what I expect from him because now he has the room to play around with those projectiles. But obviously, before he can do that, he's got to create that space because MPD has been up in his face. Oh my goodness, yeah, quick. Oh my gosh, 80% and counting. Look at that, who does that? Jump to the top platform and pull the banana to get a further extension? What? MVD is crazy, wilding out zero to death to start at 30 seconds past. Looking incredibly strong. There we go, Muse catching the monkey flip back on. Ooh, not sure if he meant that to be an arrow. Okay, but this is what Muse needs. He just needs that little bit of space to get this wall started, but MVD just breaking that zone so efficiently. Right back in his face, every time. Okay. Tries to land with an air to get a big follow-up, but that Muse has seen that before. Yeah. Dash Deck has the banana in hand, just tosses it away because he wants to feel the pressure with the aerials. I like I like seeing this adaptation from Muse. He's noticed that as he's getting more aggressive, it, the playstyle is actually working against MVD, and so the balance shifts a little bit. Here we go, uses. Yep. Oh my goodness, I'm amazed he wasn't able to convert off that bomb. Use that back into the boomerang to try to get away from the grab. Oh wow. my goodness. Bomb did not knock him out of the up smash in time, no. and MVD does take it. There is the random chance when getting hit for the item to drop, and he did activate it, but didn't make the bomb blow up. Mm -hmm. Really, uh, I mean, that was a, oh my god, it worked. Oh my god, it didn't moment for Muse, because you barely have the chance for that move to come. I think it's, what, 10% chance when you get hit? Oh, I could be wrong. Let me know. But you have a small percent chance when you're getting hit with the item in your hand to drop. Oh yeah, you can see it right now. Muse going right in to start these combos. A quick wow. 55. And a complete reverse of what we saw in the last games where MVD started off hot. Yeah. While the slide off DI to catch, uh, to, to avoid the uh, disadvantage situation and turn into an aggressive one. I like using the Nair to come down and cover his back, but he just wasn't close enough to make it connect. And that could be a big conversion for MVD. He is not one to drop opportunities. 
I okay, I thought that would jab lock. Yeah, unfortunately Toon Link does not have an easy jab lock move. I think arrow from far away will do it. It does. <laughs> and uh, other than that, I'm not sure that uh, there's anything really that Toon Link can do. I think maybe Zare as well, but nothing that he had the time for. No. All right, MVD back to covering the ledge. But, I mean, this is Toon Link. He's not necessarily out of his element when he's at the ledge and in the corner. Sometimes it's where you put yourself. Right, often you want to set up that zone so you back up, you know, toss some boomerangs, toss some bombs. And at the ledge, he doesn't have no options. That fear is a decent option when he has bomb in hand. That's definitely helpful, but... Wow, up tilt is going to catch it at 130 post hit. Muse is going to die even on Battlefield with the rage that MVD's built up, but definitely sitting at a kill percent. We can see an op smash do it or a back throw at the, with the right position. And uh, maybe with a little bit more rage or a little bit more percent, we can see Muse taking the stock. MVD was shielding with the banana in hand at the moment that Muse got too close. He threw it down at his feet to punish him. And MVD is quickly getting back to a huge lead. Double wow. down tilt because he saw the positioning, was able to convert to the fair afterwards, maximum damage. Now with Muse sitting at 97, MVD wants something crazy to end the set. Getting real aggressive, Muse still trying to play with a slower pace, MVD rushing off stage. Using the banana to cover the ledge. Now wow. says once again, I've got it that in hand. That was some nice spacing, sitting just outside the fair range, but still tantalizing close enough that uh, Muse still wanted to go for it. Wow. What an attempt. Just missed the timing from Muse. Down throw. I would have liked so, to probably see forward throw there. My goodness. MVD's clowning. Yeah, he is. I, I, I've been trying to dance around it, but he's... No, MVD's yeah, clowning. No, he's clowning. Back throw is going to do it, though. Maybe not clown all time. Muse, Muse says enough of that. Enough clowning. Forward throw. Uh, not with no rage. Yeah. Up tilt is going to do it. Yep. Says that's enough. I'm going and punching my ticket to winner's finals. So I can play another bane at a MVD just... He's, he's, a, he's a cut above the competition here. He is oh, yeah. definitely showing why he is... So we will see him playing up against Globo, but not yet because we do have some loser's bracket to run through first.